We have been continuing to closely follow the key metrics over the past week. And today I am pleased to announce that Maryland has achieved the 14-day trend of plateauing and declining numbers. The number of coronavirus hospitalizations is down from two weeks ago. The number of COVID ICU patients has plateaued for a significant period of time and is trending down over the past 14 days. The rate of new deaths is also trending downward. This allows us to cautiously and safely begin stage one of the recovery plan. Effective this Friday, May 15th at 5 o'clock p.m., we will be lifting the stay-at-home order and we will be moving instead to a safer at home public health advisory. Based on extensive input from our coronavirus recovery team and with guidance provided by the comprehensive reports from our 15 industry specific advisory groups, we are also issuing guidelines for the safe reopening of the following beginning at 5 o'clock p.m. on Friday, May 15th. Retail stores in Maryland may reopen with up to 50% capacity and with strong social distancing, masking, and other safety precautions, and uh, while continuing to strongly encourage curbside pickup and delivery. Manufacturing may resume operations in a safe manner, which protects the health of their employees, with guidelines encouraging multiple shifts to limit the number of people working at the same time, limiting proximity of employees and other safety precautions. Some personal services, including barbershops and ha uh, hair salons may reopen at up to 50% capacity by appointment only and with appropriate health and safety guidelines. Uh, pet groomers, animal adoption shelters, car washes, art galleries, and some other activities will also uh, be able to begin reopening. Churches and houses of worship, worship may begin to safely hold religious services. Faith and worship uh, are such an essential part of the lives of so many people. Holding services outside is strongly encouraged. Religi religious leaders are strongly urged to do everything possible to keep their congregants safe and particularly to protect the elderly and the vulnerable within their congregations. Inside services may be permitted at 50% capacity or less with appropriate distancing, masking, and safety protocols strongly ad advised. Reopening businesses are encouraged to take the Maryland Strong Back to Business Pledge, which will help assure their customers and members of the public that they are adhering to best practices and strict safety guidelines in order to keep Marylanders safe. Uh, this Back to Business Pledge can be printed and posted on your storefront by visiting open.maryland.gov slash back to business. Team, subscribe for more of these type of videos.